So what if I told you that activity in the heart of the nation's capital orchestrated by young people attracted global app Instagram to the country? Well, this is not a myth, really. It's a reality. You see, every Sunday in the streets of Nairobi, young people gather to take pictures and to create content, and Instagram took notice. And as Willis Raburu now reports, Drip in the City is the new wave of photography that traces its roots back to when we would take those all-important pictures seemingly touching the KICC rooftop. Remember those? Yeah. So how has photography evolved from then to now? Take a look. Statistically, 2.97 million youth in Kenya are without jobs. And while they wait for the government to make the necessary adjustments, Necessity is the mother of invention. At around 11 a.m., nestled in the heart of the nation's capital, you'll find youth in groups. Their aim is to capture the drip in the city. With every click, a shot towards a better life. Grapha Clint is one of those we meet, and he says it's time to snap out of false realities and get down to work. To the youth here, it's not just about taking pictures as pastime, but the novelty of content creation in the city redirects their focus. Graduates wana toka siju over over hundred thousands wana toka kwa kwa universities zetu apa Kenya jobs iko limited so the digital services me kujia in a way that ina kujia kutuoko unaona so like if you can do this na niki tunesa la nata YouTube unaona for example kama mi mi si more for photographer mi ni more for graphic design and um, I've been I've been in a ni luko kwa university but si yoni learn. So I check graphic design and learn too from my own ways. YouTube, learn my tutorials and all that. Now you know I'm a living. The evolution of photography re-emphasized the fact that the world is a global village. Instagram took notice of this budding art form in Nairobi streets and hosted an event dubbed Drip in the City. Creators showcased their photography and content creation skills and the youth showcased fashion made in Kenya. Drip in the City is actually uh, an event that we decided to hold together to bring together young people uh, to this street for them to, to actually take part in what we are calling a content capture experience. Kama umetembea town on Sunday, utakutana nao vijana wakipiga picha, creating content, making some money on Instagram. So tumikuja kwa tuku celebrate na kuwa encourage that this is something that they can do. The event was an opportunity for creators and young people to create and connect with their community in an authentic way. Instagram saying the aim to help is rooted in creativity and community and the desire to help young people and creators in Nairobi to not only establish their voice, but also share their story, connect and express themselves. One way that we're really exploring, and this is something we're still testing, and hopefully we can be able to launch it in future in Kenya, is how people can leverage their target audience as a way to make income. Street photography in Nairobi has come full circle. From the days of that famed KICC top holding photo to this new age style, perhaps giving credibility to the saying that the more things change, the more they remain the same. And like it was before, uliko uh, nambia mtu utamilipisha 10,000 kumpige picha kumi ya nashanga. But right now, I want to appreciate your art, which is something that uh, is really encouraging. Si ushamba kupiga picha kia ICC. Si ushamba kupiga picha uhuru pak. In fact, ni vizuri tupiga picha kwa hizi vitu. Ndiyo watu waone, this is how Nairobi inaka. Nairobi is beautiful. Kujeni tupiga picha. Um, this is how we market ourselves as a city. So, mmekaribishwa town nyinyi wote, Sunday, Saturday, mkuje mpige picha. The fact that a major player like Instagram and by extension Meta trained its eyes on the evolution of photography in Kenya is a testament that the youth in this country are creative, innovative, and when given a chance, can create employment and steer their future 
towards greatness. This is a, what we are considering a pop culture moment in Nairobi because it's very unique to Nairobi. You don't go in other cities where you find young people, you know, just taking photos. So we actually wanted to, to honor these people and create an opportunity for them. So client kumpata lazima utapiga picha. Ukipost kwa page yako anaona kazi unafanya, utapata clients. Government initiatives like Talanta Hela through the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport, for example, remain a buttress for them against despair and hopelessness. They can only wait. Anything yenye gavai na start, waga inanzisha na good intentions. The people wenye wanaona kwa custodians, tu waga wana kuja wana yaribu. One can only hope that this is the beginning of taking photography and indeed content creation to new heights. From our nation's capital, reporting for Citizen Television, I am Willis Raburu.